Hi, my name is Brenna Tomlinson. I'm a personal trainer and the fitness nutrition specialist here at Milestone. My tip for you begins with food diary. So for the first week, week one, I want you to write on paper. So no phone apps for week one, everything on paper. Um, our brains have to process and evaluate information before we write it down. So it's all part of kind of getting more conscious about our eating, uh, whether we eat emotionally, whether we eat unconsciously, or just eat too much when we're upset, etc. So all in the realm of getting to be a better, conscious, healthier eater, food diary. So week one, fill it out. Make sure you include water and alcohol. Okay, so week two, we're gonna go through the food diary. Some of you already know what this one thing is gonna be. So week two, you're gonna pick one thing. One thing, when you look at that chart, you're like, oh my gosh, that's like horrible for me. Or it's not that it's that bad, but I could do a more healthy alternative. Or it's just a definite like fried food, no, no, can't do it. Or it's something that you eat too much of the entire food group or you have too much of a good thing and you probably just need to portion control. So pick one, you're gonna pick one thing. Week two, remove it completely. Nothing on the food chart on week two that has that item in it. Um, and incidentally, we have food diaries here at Milestone. You can come by and pick one up, but you can write it on paper. You can write it in your own notebook. It doesn't matter. This is just very easy to record because we have the time that you eat, the snack, the alcohol, the water. There's a column for everything, but you can do it on anything, but paper form. Okay, week three, you're gonna return your one thing. Now listen, if you don't have to have it and you're amazed that, oh my gosh, I didn't even miss it, leave it out by all means. But if on day eight you are dying, cannot wait to have that thing again, you're gonna put it back in, but you're gonna put it in at half quantity. So here comes back to logging the food. You're gonna to go to food diary week one and you're gonna be like, okay, well, I had it, I had dessert every single night of the week. So you're gonna do dessert every other night. I had 12 glasses of wine during the week. You're gonna have six glasses of wine. Whatever it is, you're gonna cut it in half on week three. Now, if you can cut it in thirds, by all means, cut it in thirds. Remember, we're talking about a food group, alcohol, dessert, whatever it might be like your thing is. When you look at that first week, you're like, gee, like I eat too much of that, it's not even good for me, etc." Okay, so week three, you're bringing it back in at half time or not at all. Remember, if you're not gonna bring it in at all, you've gotta be over it because we, we don't wanna feel deprived. We wanna feel like we're allowed to have it if we want to have it. Okay, so food chart, include water, include alcohol. Week one, you record everything. Second week, take that one thing completely out. Week three, put it back in at half time. So what happens after that is either you repeat the same process with another one thing that you should take out, or you keep working on that one thing until you've eliminated it or put it at such a quality that it's not unhealthy anymore. So food diary, one choice, one week at a time, and one step at a time will lose one pound at a time. Good luck.